Hey guys, this is the second time I took this video, and I guess I just need to get on with the video, and, um, how it turns out is how it turns out, I guess, so, um, today I want to talk to, first of all, I want to say that my little brother is doing better today, he got his tonsils removed on Thursday morning, and he's still laying around a little bit, I mean, he took Today he took one nap, and he's still not eating, but he is drinking a little bit, so that's good. And, um, he's been watching a lot of movies and stuff, so that's good, and yeah, he's doing a little bit better. Today I want to talk to y'all about different things that would be a good idea to keep in your room. Or th either things that I do keep in my room, or have in my room sometimes that I think are a good idea, or just an idea in general, basically. So let's get started. The first thing is a nightlight, and this is actually one of the cheap things you can get. Um, you can, I think you can get them at most Dollar Trees, and if you're like me and you're scared of the dark, or if you, like, get up in the middle of the night, um, to go to the bathroom or something. If you're like me, I really don't like the dark. So, a nightlight is something that'd be good to keep in your room, close to your bed, or plugged in by your bed. Um, and so, you know, it might be a little easier to see when you get up. And it's, at Dollar Tree, it's pretty cheap. Another thing that I think is a good idea to keep on your bedside table or in your room is either a bottle of water or something to drink. The reason I say this is because, you know, sometimes you wake up, like, in the middle of the night because you're extremely thirsty. My idea would either be, um, to grab a bottle of water before you go to sleep and put it on your bedside table or by your bed, or if you, um, want to drink something besides water, you can grab that or you can just put something else in a bottle of water and or something that has a lid on it and put it on your bedside table or put it by your bed so that if you wake up in the middle of the night and you're thirsty, then you'll have something to drink. Something else that I like to keep in my room is deodorant. And the reason I usually keep deodorant in my room is sometimes I leave the bathroom after I take a shower and totally forget to put deodorant on or forget to grab the deodorant and so um buying deodorant or um sorry i meant getting some deodorant and putting it in your room or if it, even if you just buy a separate deodorant like buy one deodorant to put in your bathroom and one to put in your um room it works really good for me because I usually sometimes I leave the bathroom without even thinking about putting deodorant on and so deodorant is something that I like to keep on my bedside table or somewhere in my room so that if I do leave the bathroom and I forget to put deodorant on I'll know there's something in my room um and then another thing that I keep in my room Sometimes is toilet paper, um, which might seem kind of strange, but toilet paper or Kleenexes is another good thing that is good to keep in your room because actually I don't usually keep toilet paper or Kleenexes in my room. The reason I actually have this toilet paper in my room is because a couple of nights ago I had a bad cold and my allergies was going crazy and it was bedtime, time to go to sleep, and... My nose was bothering me, so I just grabbed some toilet paper. So, um, another good thing to keep in your room, probably, is either toilet paper or Kleenexes. Um, so that, you know, if your nose starts running or something, then you'll have something to wipe it on. You won't have to walk all the way back to the bathroom to wipe your nose. I know that's kind of gross, but... Um, oh yeah, before I get up and show you something else, just before I show you what's some things over there another thing uh, i'd like to show you is 
Okay, make sure this is empty. Is a trash can. This one right here is my trash can. It, um, I don't remember where I actually got it from. But it's just a small, cheap trash can. As a matter of fact, it doesn't even say trash can. It says waste basket, which is basically the same thing. But I think you can get these from, um... Dollar General, I think. I think you can get them from Walmart and probably Dollar General. And, um, all I did was I bought this for my room. Um, I think I'm with some of my birthday money one year. And then all I did is, um, I put a, um, Delbert's bag in there. Which is really easy. All you have to do is buy a little waste basket from, like, Walmart or Dollar General. And just put, um, whenever you buy groceries, save your grocery bags. And then you can put your grocery bags in your trash can. So, that's a good idea. That's what I did. This is just a, this is a grocery bag from Delberts. And then you have your waste bas basket. So, having a trash can in your room is pretty handy. Then you won't have to worry about walking all the way to the kitchen or the bathroom to throw something away. And then, let's see, what else? Oh yeah, here's another one. Here's something else. I'm gonna put it over here. Where y'all can see it better. So this right here is actually something that I think is a great idea to keep in your room. Is that is snacks. Um, and the reason I say this is because I actually, I think, had this idea like a couple of years ago. And what I did is... I actually had this box. I don't I don't remember where I actually got this box from. But um, I think I had this box for a while. And I didn't really know what to do with it. It was just kind of getting in the way. And then I realized that I could put candy in there. So then you don't have all kinds of... You don't have um, mice or bugs trying to get in it. So all you have to do for this is buy you a little plastic container. Or just any container that... Um, comes with a lid on it that seals good and then um you can put um candy in here you can put candy in it or sweets or whatever you like to snack on in there and you can even i think put drinks in there and then you won't have to worry if it has a lid on it um if it has a lid on it you won't have to worry about bugs and stuff getting in it so this is another thing that i suggest um for keeping in your room is a bucket full of snacks. Because it really comes in handy for me. Um, let's see, is there anything else that I see? Um, I'm not actually going to show this on video. But um, if you know what a portable DVD player is, which is basically, it's a small DVD player that... Basically, it comes with a charger. Basically, a DVD player that's portable that's not hooked onto anything. That comes with a charger, so you can charge it. And since it's portable, you can, like, bring it, like, in the car and stuff. Um, I do have one, but I'm not going to show it on video. But, um, if you have a portable DVD player, that's another good thing to keep in your room. Because sometimes, like, on my birthday and stuff, I like to take the movies that I like and put them in the portable DVD player and sit in a chair by my bed and watch them and eat snacks. So, having a portable DVD player in your room or something that plays DVDs in your room is another good idea. And also, keeping movies in your room is also a good idea too, in my opinion. Because then you don't have to worry about um, going through hundreds of movies trying to find the one that you like. You could just um, keep some movies separately that you know you like. And then you don't have to go through like hundreds of movies um, trying to look for the ones you like. And then I don't think there's really anything else to show on, like, on camera. But um, something that I don't have that I think that would be a good idea to keep in your room. I'm actually thinking about looking at this um, whenever I get some birthday money, is um, 
whenever I get my birthday money, is they have something called a mini refrigerator, which is basically a refrigerator that is a real refrigerator, but it's tiny. And um, basically, it's where you can put your fridge refrigerator in there, you can plug it in, and it, it's just like a regular refrigerator, but it's very small. So it probably only holds like probably a couple of sodas. Maybe if you had a small glass of something, it hold that maybe. Like if you had a short glass of something, then it might hold that. It might hold a couple of sodas, and then it probably holds something like a sandwich or something like that. So they're really small, but I think a um, mini refrigerator is also a good idea to have. So then you can have some cold stuff in your room as well. So those are my ideas of either things I have or things that I think would be a good idea to keep in your room. If you like this, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. And until, until Monday, bye. Have a great night. Have a great week. I'll, I'll try to post a video on Monday, so bye. Thanks for watching.